to our Shibuya hotel. It is pretty tiny, but I'm just so happy to finally be at the hotel. It's like the longest day of my life today. I'm gonna do a little room tour. I'm gonna get little bunt and bluffs. This is it. This is our whole room. We're staying right next to the train station. Wait. Oh my gosh, they just stopped by to give us some breakfast coupons. Apparently, we get breakfast for all of our stays here. That's so nice. I did not think that was included in our stay, but oh my gosh, the staff here is so sweet, so welcoming.
Oh no, yeah, you're right. I think they're like leaders. Like they guide you. It is the end of day one in Tokyo and we had a very eventful day. We woke up super early because we are booked up from the jet lag. It 
has been rough but we're hoping that tonight we can fix it but yeah we were kind of like in and out of sleep all night woke up at five and couldn't go back to sleep so we started the day off early we got some coffee and we headed to Asakusa and we visited Sensoji Temple and Nakamisadori and then we explored the Taito area so we went to Sumida Park where you have like a view of Tokyo Sky Tree and then we stumbled on another cute little shrine it had a lot of cats and apparently it was a shrine dedicated to relationships and love so that was really cute and we headed back to Nakamisadori because when we had first got there a lot of the shops were still closed and we killed some time came back and more of them were open but it was so packed it was like 10 30 a.m and it was crazy the amount of people there so from there we headed to Ueno Park we took the subway and yeah that was a really nice park we were there for a little bit visiting some of the shrines and temples there and then from Ueno we walked down to Akihabara we stopped and had the ramen and then we just spent the rest of the day in Akihabara really cool area and then after that we came back to the hotel rested a little bit and then our friends Sophie and Matt got here they flew in today so we met them up for dinner we went to a vegan izakaya and it was delicious and we just hung around in Shibuya for a little bit but we were honestly so tired so we just got back to the hotel we didn't have a showing right now I'm so tired <laughs> but a great great first day I'm excited for all to come So I am on my own this morning. Sophie and Matt, we had already planned they were going to do their own thing this morning and I was going to head out with Uriel but he unfortunately got a little bit of food poisoning so he's staying in this morning.
version of a pine tree. Building vibes. Yeah, I mean it is a uh, metropolitan. by the clothes. day two and it is it's honestly not even that late it's like 7 p.m i think but we're back in the hotel because me i'm i'm super tired <laughs> been a good day but it kind of started out crazy because we started off we went to the hotel breakfast buffet and it was really good it was solid breakfast buffet they had a lot of options and we liked it but like as soon as we left the breakfast buffet we was like oh i don't feel good and so we came back to the room we waited for a little bit but he still wasn't feeling better he had really bad stomach pains so he decided to just lay low for the morning so i left him here to suffer by himself <laughs> and i left to explore by myself and i went to a neighborhood called jimbocho and it's a really cute neighborhood it's just west i think of akihabara and it is known for all the bookstores that it has so i explored there for a little bit and yeah i just spent my morning there and it was cute and chill and then i got back to the hotel and we were gonna meet up with sophie and matt for the afternoon in shinjuku but just as we were about to leave, Uriel realized that he couldn't find his credit card. <laughs> so then we spent some time working that out. But then we did end up meeting up with Sophie and Matt in Shinjuku. We went to the Shinjuku Gardens and they were beautiful. We spent some time there. We just chilled. And then we took the train and then walked to the Metropolitan Building, which has like an observatory that you can go for free since we weren't able to get Shibuya Sky tickets for the sunset. We thought we would try that for the sunset and it was really cool. And we got to see the sunset and we even got to see Mount Fuji for a little bit. It was really cool and it was free so that was great. And then we were gonna try to have dinner in that Shinjuku area but it was so packed and the restaurant that we tried to go to didn't have any openings until 9 p.m which we weren't gonna wait around for so we left. We picked up some stuff at at family mart and we got back to the hotel and first thing i had to do was take a shower because i was so nasty and sweaty and yeah i think we're gonna call it a day just get some rest for tomorrow but it was a good day we're up at 5 a.m today well we were up earlier we're leaving the hotel at 5 a.m we're trying to get to the bus station because we're taking a bus to kawaguchiko if we can find where the station is. I got some coffees from a vending machine and mine is cold and what else is hot.
from track number two. Climb to the top. <laughs> I'm like trying to tell you about the drain engineer taking pictures of the bridge. <laughs> woke up and I'm gonna start getting ready for the day and I thought I would do a little get ready with me video while I recap yesterday because I forgot to do one at the end of the day because honestly we just get to the hotel and pass out because we are so tired but yesterday was a really good day we went to lake kawaguchiko and it was amazing because it was like the only day of the whole week that had a clear and not overcast or rainy forecast and i think because of that we weren't the only ones with the idea of going <laughs> to see mount fuji so it was packed we actually didn't think it wasn't looking good the night before because we hadn't booked train tickets we were just gonna see how the weather was looking and decide the night before so it was looking good so we were like let's do it 
but then by the time we were looking at train tickets or bus tickets it was not looking good because we were thinking that most of the trains and buses leaving to Kawaguchiko leave from Shinjuku station and they do most of them do and those the ones leaving from Shinjuku were all booked there was no free seat then Uriel was like let me just look for one from Shibuya and he found some not a lot there was very few seats left but he found one leaving at 6 30 and then coming back around 3 30 so we were like yeah that's fine at least uh we can wake up early come back early like that still gives us enough time there and that's what we did and that's why we were up so early <laughs> but it was really really worth it the weather i mean it was hot but it was a lot less humid than here in tokyo and there was a really nice breeze the sun was out mount fuji was out it was so nice so so worth it because we're going to to Hakone but Kawaguchiko is closer to Fuji and also we don't know what the weather is going to be like in Hakone we only have one day there as well so we might not even get to see Mount Fuji from there and Kawaguchiko has the Churito Pagoda so that was the first thing we did when we got there we took the local train to the shrine and the pagoda and it was amazing the view really just worth it it's a little bit of a hike but it's really fast I was sweating bullets i really was just like chorrendo but it was it was fine it wasn't that bad and since we got there early we took an early bus and that was the first thing we did like there was a lot of people but there wasn't really a queue for the picture and then when we were coming back down after we were done at the pagoda there was a lot more people coming up so definitely recommend doing that early and then after we got on the train to drive around or got on the bus to drive around the lake and we went to Oshi Park, I believe is what it's called. And that was really lovely. There was a lot of people. The buses were completely packed. And we just took some pictures of Mount Fuji. There was a lot of like pretty vegetation. There was like a flower festival that has been going on for like the last month. It's the very tail end of the festival. So honestly, a lot of the flowers there are like dying, but it's still really lovely. And we had a couple snacks there. We do we like haven't had a proper meal in a while. But I got some karepan, which was delicious. We got some matcha ice cream. And then we headed back to the station. We had like a little less than an hour to kill. So we got some food at like a little cafe. I got some gyoza. And then we came back to Tokyo. And we had plans to go out for dinner. But then we got to the hotel and we were like so tired. So we ended up just going to the kombini. <laughs> which has become kind of like our little nightly ritual. We're so original, but go mini food, quick, delicious, and it does the job, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> but yeah, that was yesterday. We had a good time. Sophie and Matt were doing their own thing, but we're planning on meeting up today again. And yeah, we've got some fun stuff to do today. So I'll see you when I see you, I guess.
hotel it's been a very eventful day we did a lot we started off the day we stayed here in shibuya we went to go see the hachiko statue it's very cute which we've been like passing by it every day but we just hadn't noticed it because it's so small but we went like first thing in the morning and that was a good call because it was empty we were able to get a little picture and then we made our way to yoyogi park and that was chill we didn't spend too much time there we just walked around a little bit we found a mexican statue which was cool we felt at home and then we walked a little bit and then went to meiji jingu shrine which is within yoyogi park but you kind of have to take a separate entrance to get to it and it's a really pretty shaded walk to it and that was nice um it was still really humid today but it was more overcast a little less hot it felt really nice and then we went down the street to harajuku we walked around for a little bit and then we went to the peanuts cafe which i've been very excited about <laughs> i got a little snoopy pancake it was cute like it's not supposed to be like great food it's just like a cute cafe I and mean, that was empty we got there like a little after it opened so that was a good call too and then we headed to the tokyo imperial gardens which were nice but or no sorry we went to the imperial palace we were gonna go try to see the palace but it turns out that you need to go in with a guided tour and the next tour didn't start until 1 30 and we had to be at shibuya sky at like 2 30 so it just wasn't gonna work out but we found the gardens which are free to go to and you can go in at any time so we walked around there they were very beautiful gardens and then we ate sushi nearby it was really good and then we headed back to shibuya to to Shibuya Sky, which was cool, but as soon as we got outside, it was looking very overcast. There was supposed to be rain, and we took like a couple pictures, but then it started pouring, and it was very cold and windy, <laughs> and we were wet, so we had to go inside really quickly, but it was still cool, but I'm just glad we had gotten to the Metropolitan Building a couple of days ago and got some good views because, yeah, we didn't get to spend a lot of time at Shibuya Sky, but then we were tired, so we came back to the hotel. I took like an hour nap, which is really nice and then Uriel had made reservations at a restaurant that he found so we took the subway there it was a yakisoba restaurant but he chose it specifically because he wanted a wagyu steak and he saw in the reviews that they had a really good one there so that's what he ordered i ordered a yakisoba but we ended up just kind of splitting everything it was so good so good um after so many kombini meals <laughs> over the past few days it was really nice to have some real and really good food today but now we're back in the hotel i need to hop in the shower and then i gotta start getting all my shit ready to go to kyoto tomorrow so that'll be fun we're gonna take a shinkansen so see you tomorrow